welcome to the Beetson's Building Supplies Jim Clark Rally, the second round of the 2022 Ooh. British Rally Championship. 72 miles of fast, uncompromising asphalt lies ahead for the crews over two days, as the Duns-based event makes a welcome return to the British Rally Cup. The season got underway on the closed roads of Essex at the Corby Seats Rally, Tendling and Clacton. The short technical stages made for a captivating battle for top honours, but it was the VW Polo of Oshan Price and Nolo Sullivan who got their 2022 campaign off to a winning start. The Jim Clark Rally started with two passes of the Long for Makers test in the fading light of Friday evening. Ocean Price was first into SS1, but struggled for grip on the dusty tarmac, cleaning the road for the chasing pack. Next on the road, four-time British champion Keith Cronin was flying. His blistering stage one time put him and co-driver Mikey Galvin ahead by seven seconds and into an early After a podium finish in Clacton, James Williams and Di Roberts continued their impressive pace in Scotland. Pushing their high Hyundai, they finished in third, 13 seconds behind Cronin on the opening stage. Darkness descended over stage two and Price headed Cruz into the test. But as the cars came into view towards the end of the stage, it was Keith Cronin who appeared first. Let's come to have a look and it's not Ocean. Keith, a very different prospect through that stage in the darkness. How was it? Um, uh, it was we, we good enough run, but we laughed at the time. I actually had a puncher, I think, and we got caught behind him. Didn't grab too much, maybe a few seconds. Um, other than that, very dark. What time in there, Michael? 9.35 potentially for Keith Cronin. Was there a puncture in there? There it was. There it was. Absolutely cock on. We're going to let these guys go. James Williams and Gary Pearson would both benefit from Price's bad luck, moving up to second and third respectively as the cars headed into the overnight halt. In the junior BRC, Eamon Kelly was hampered by slower cars in the opener, but he was back on form by the second pass, improving on his time by 27 seconds to take the lead at the end of the leg. Carl White recovered from a trip into a fence and a stall in the darkness to hold on to second place overnight in his 208 Rally 4. Johnny Mulholland continued his run of consistent performances, keeping it neat and tidy on the slippery sections and finishing the evening third. Johan Lloyd and Sean Williams were less fortunate, leaving the road and crashing heavily several miles into SS1. The crew were okay. Here's the classification after the opening two stages of the Jim Clark then. Keith Cronin and Mikey Galvin hold a 40.6 second lead over James Williams and Di Roberts in the Hyundai. Gary Pearson and Dale Furness are in third, with Elliot Payne and Patrick Walsh taking fourth. Myron Evans and Jonathan Jackson in the polo are fifth, with junior BRC frontrunner Eamon Kelly and Conor Mohan sixth. Alan Carmichael and Arthur Kierans lead the national charge, whilst Ruri Bell recovers from his opening stage issue in eighth. After Friday night's puncture, Saturday morning brought further disappointment for Ocean Price. He was deemed to have broken a regulation mandating him to change the wheel immediately and event organisers subsequently disqualified him from the event. Keith Cronin started stage three with a comfortable advantage, but he was eager to extend it on the morning loop. Fastest times in SS3 and 4 meant he took a 40 second lead into the midpoint service halt in Duns. Behind Cronin, the battle was much tighter. James Williams and Gary Pearson were closely matched throughout the opening loop, but it was Williams who was able to squeeze a little more out of his Hyundai, finishing the morning in second. 
local ace Pearson would be 16 seconds adrift in third. Rory Bell was once again in great form, but his scintillating pace was hampered by a technical fault in stage one. A pop-off valve problem cost him more than a minute, and once that was rectified, he and Max Freeman had much more to celebrate on stage five, as Bell took his first ever BRC1 stage win. Elliot Payne had been Mr. Consistent on a relatively unfamiliar surface, and put in another mature performance in his Fiesta Rally 2, as he and Marion Evans entered a battle for fourth place. The two exchanged places throughout the rally, but it was Evans in the polo who eventually managed to come out on top on his BRC1 day. Jason Pritchard continues to find the pace and confidence as he gets more seat time in the Volkswagen Polo. And he's rewarded with a points finish at the gym club. In the National Rally Champion chase, a broken differential cost Craig Jones any chance of a repeat win at the Jim Clark. He was on the comeback trail on Saturday before coming to a halt in stage five. Alan Carmichael returned to the BRC national competition after missing Clapton and was immediately on the pace. After running strongly on both days, he took maximum points on his way to eighth overall. We're here in regroup in a gloriously sunny Duns town centre. We're gonna head over to our cruise and find out what the story is. We've got a very different Keith Cronin in front of us to what we did at Clacton. Tell us a little bit about your performance. Your, your stage times have been absolutely blistering all weekend long. What, what's changed in your camp? Um, we, look, we worked in the setup in the car. Um, we are on the Pearly Tower now um, and it's, it's working really well here for me. Especially last night we, we built up a good lead so now we've just, just managed it all the way through today. We're, we're not having to go as hard which is good. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, just, just you know, we haven't much rallying done over the last few years, so it's, you know, every rally I get better. We are going to speak to James Williams very, very quickly, just before he heads in. James, a superb morning in the driver's seat of the Hyundai. How's it been for you? Yeah, it's been a good morning to be fair. We had a, obviously had a smash window on the first one, which woke me up. But, uh, other than that, just trying to match Keith on every stage is really the, really the task in hand and uh, keep it clean. I know I made a couple of mistakes on that last one. We broke a rear drop link and a couple of the slower corners, the car fell in the ditch, so not ideal, but um, yeah, it was a strong loop. Keith's obviously got a fairly unassailable lead at the moment. Uh, I know you'd love to win, that's why you're here, but second would be a good result for you. Yeah, definitely. We just want to just keep our heads down. We've got four stages to go, so not really thinking about the result yet. Just trying to keep on his tail, and I'm sure that'll, that'll get us through. Uh, let's have a quick chat with Gary Pearson, our third place man. It's very busy here in the green room. Very quick chat, Gary. How's your morning been? Yeah, good steady morning to be fair. No, no real mistakes, but a wee wide slide in the last uh, stage there and got a slow puncture, so I had to stop just over the line and change it type thing. So, uh, yeah, thankfully it stayed on the rim and there was no hassle. So. This is how the leaderboard looks then at the midpoint of Saturday. Keith Cronin and Mikey Galvin have a 40.6 second lead over James Williams and Di Roberts in the Hyundai. Gary Pearson, home hero with Dale Furness alongside, 56.9 down on the leader. Marion Evans and Jonathan Jackson in fourth. Elliot Payne and Patrick Walsh round out the top five in their Fiesta Rally 2. Johnny Mulholland and Owen Tracy were able to continue the solid pace that they'd shown on Friday throughout the remainder of the event, coming home in third in Junior BMC. Leading after stage one, his scare on the second test in the dark would force Kyle White to reset and he was able to bring the Peugeot home with second place and more solid points for the championship. Once he got to grips with the Scottish tarmac, Eamon Kelly proved too fast for his rivals and took a convincing win. Playing his joker this weekend also means he's able to take away bonus championship points and subsequently the lead of the championship. 
Carl McBride and Liam McIntyre were bedding themselves in nicely to the Jim Clark Rally roads. They would take their fiesta to another Academy Trophy win. Eamon, Connor, congratulations. That's a junior BRC win here at the Jim Clark Rally. Yeah, delighted. So, said after clacking, we come back stronger and we put in a good effort into this rally. We knew playing our joker that that was the plan. And yeah, we stuck to it and it really, really paid off. So, excellent event and enjoyed it from start to finish. Uh, competition's absolutely fierce despite Ola not being here, of course. Uh, the guys have kept you on your toes. Yeah, absolutely. You can never back off, even on the last stage. You just, you never can back off. And it's class, though. Look, that's what you want. On stages like this, you want to be pushed, and that's where you get the thrill from. Well done. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thanks very much. Our junior BRC winners, Eamon Kelly, Connor Mohan, taking maximum points. Gary Pearson and co-driver Dale Furness needed a good result at the Jim Clark Rally, thanks to ending round one with a zero score. Pearson was able to use his local knowledge to claim his first ever BRC podium in third, taking away valuable bonus points for playing his joker on home soil. Ahead of Pearson, James Williams had proved a point on the Jim Clark and showed signs of what was to come for his British Rally Championship campaign, setting themselves up as true title contenders for 2022. However, once the challenge from Ocean Price ended, no one could match the pace of Keith Cronin and Mikey Galvin. Even after claiming he had backed off, Keith Cronin took five fastest stage times on his way to a commanding win. His victory means he leaves Scotland with the lead of the championship. You weren't expecting this quite so soon, Keith. Congratulations, winner of the 2022 Jim Clark Rally. How does that feel? Uh, great. Um, it's nice to get a win in the BRC again last year. Didn't go 100% for us, but the um, pace was good in Clapton, and I said, yeah, we, we started very well here, and then it was a case of managed manage the, manage the lead then. I mean, absolutely on another level this weekend. It was sad to lose Oshan the early part of this morning. Uh, there could have been a good fight, but nevertheless, to keep on the pace of these guys behind you, it takes a lot. Yeah, no, we, it, we, we had to try to keep our pace up some, but maybe not. We weren't going quite as maximum as we were last night. But, um, yeah, you just lose your concentration and stuff if you don't, and you're always hearing noises and worried about punchers. But, um, but it's nice to come out here and, and, and get the win. Winners of the 2022 Jim Clark Rally, Keith Cronin, Mikey Galvin in the VW Polo GTI R5. That's a storming, storming win for Keith. Confirmation of those results from the Jim Clark Rally then, with Keith Cronin and Mikey Galvin taking a commanding win over James Williams and Di Roberts. Gary Pearson and Dale Furness take third in their Ford Fiesta Rally 2, whilst Myron Evans and Jonathan Jackson take fourth in the polo. Elliot Payne and Patrick Walsh round out the top five in their Ford Fiesta Rally 2. Confirmation then of the junior BRC results at the Jim Clark Rally. Eamon Kelly and Connor Mohan taking a convincing win over Carl White and Sean Topping. Johnny Mulholland and Owen Tracy take third, whilst Carl McBride and Liam McIntyre take fourth and also maximum points in the Academy Trophy. So here's what the championship looks like after two rounds. Keith Cronin and Mikey Galvin then 43 points on the board. They have just 10 points in hand though over James Williams and Di Roberts. Oshan Price and Noel O'Sullivan, despite that zero score, retain third place. A new leader then in the junior BRC in Eamon Kelly and Connor Mohan. They lead Carl White and Sean Topping with Ola Nord Jr. and Jack Morton rounding out the top three. Join us next time in Bullthwells for the first gravel event of the year when the British Rally Championship heads to the Nicky Griss stages on the 9th of July. We'll see you then. <laughs>